dear students and staff of Mandela University, I want to share some news with you about what we are doing as far as teaching and learning is concerned at this moment. But before I talk about teaching and learning, I want to say that our first priority as a university is to be supporting the implementation of the national imperatives around fighting the coronavirus. So please take care for yourself and for your families and stay safe and healthy during this period. Now I'm sure that you've experienced this week that sometimes you look for certainty. So you'd like to know, we know we're on recess now, when will our classes start again? Will our assignments still be due on certain dates and so on? But actually we are living in a very uncertain moment. A moment where certainty isn't really possible. And so we actually all just need to relax and see how things unfold. But what I'd like to say is that in this moment where we're on extended recess, we are working on our approach to learning and teaching when we start up our learning activities again. And this approach is going to be developed around the fact that we are going to use what we call a flexible pedagogical approach. Now those are a bunch of big words. So what do we mean by that? We're going to use an approach where we're going to be very innovative and flexible around how we facilitate teaching, how learning happens, what happens to assessment. We want to do it that way because we want to give every single student the same opportunity to achieve their learning outcomes. But that opportunity could be different for different students. So everybody could be learning anywhere, at any time, but there are going to be multiple routes for you to be able to achieve your learning outcomes. So there won't just be one route that says we can only have learning happening if everybody is sitting in a class. Or one route that says we can only have learning happening if we're doing that digitally. We need multiple ways to be learning because students and staff find themselves in different places. Some students have access to technology off campus, other students don't. So if we only used one method, we'd actually be disadvantaging some students in the process. So we're going to use multiple pathways to achieve learning outcomes. We'll even achieve those outcomes potentially at different points in time because some students might have finished quicker than other students because of the access they might have had, for example. We may even find that we have different ways of doing assessment for the different routes that we're going to be following. If you want to think of an example of, of what this is, then uh, we all take different routes to get to varsity in the mornings. We also use different methods of, or modes of transport to do that. And we leave at different times to get to varsity, but we all get to varsity. And so this is the same now. We're all going to achieve our learning outcomes, but we're going to follow different routes to do that. And as time goes by, your lecturers will be communicating with you as students to give you ideas of what those routes are going to be in your particular module. That's probably about as certain as we can do, be at the moment, that we've got this principle of allowing learning to happen anywhere, anytime, via multiple pathways to achieve the learning outcomes. You might think that that's not specific enough, but that's what's possible to tell you at the moment. However, I want to remind you that two years ago, we also faced an impossible moment 
where we weren't sure that we were going to finish the 2016 academic year linked to the Fees Must Fall protests. But we did. We faced that impossible moment together. We pulled together both staff and students, all sections of the university. We were committed to finishing the academic year of 2016, and we did. In fact, we did it in a record way in that we had a bumper graduation in the following year, and our success rates were at the right standards. So what I'm saying to you is that we do have a track record that in moments where things seem to be impossible, we actually manage, as Mandela said, to achieve that and to make it possible and not impossible anymore. So please work with us, do your bit to help us to make this approach of having multiple pathways for students to achieve their learning outcomes a reality. And remember, most important thing is look after yourself and do all that you can to fight the virus that the country is grappling with at the moment.